Hi, Marty. How are ya? Just bear with me a minute. Nothing seems to be working tonight. Anybody else on? Just us? We're just going to go over um, the signs that I got today and we're probably going to make a bow. Just got to add some stuff here. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Who else is on? Say hello. Somebody keeps coming on and then popping off. <laughs> it's been a crazy day. Marty, if you can, can you just type in live in the comments, just the word live, and see if my computer bot, robot, is working. You should get another message and just type in a word to, um, it's supposed to, it was supposed to be working last week and it wasn't. So what it's supposed to do is send everybody a message when I'm live. And if you get a message, just answer it. It's probably, I'm hoping it works. All this technical stuff is driving me crazy. Let me pop on here and let others know I'm live from the group. So how was your day, Marty? Good? Did it give you another question? Like, did it ask you a question? My rubber band is in the way. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then maybe it's working. I don't know. That's just so weird. There. Really? Were the kids wound? <laughs> I remember those days. So I didn't ask you a question then. All right. Then I probably screwed it up again and I'm gonna have to go back and go over it again. All right. Just posting. All right, we're done. Who else is with us? Say hello. All right, that's all done. So you did get a message. Hi, Allison, how are you? Cool, so there's two of us. Hey, <laughs> besides me. I've got five borders right now. Um, I had three come in a couple days ago and I had two more come in today. So things are a little crazy here and one in heat. So, all right, I guess it's just the three of us. So, oh, aren't we all? Allison, if you could type live in the comments and see if you get any message, 
I'm trying to get my computer robot to wake up and recognize people when they ask to be notified when I go live. Hey, Sue. Yes, your babies are doing fine. <laughs> Sue's babies came today. All right. So I guess what we'll do, I'm just going to show you some of the new signs I got in. Um, and this is basically how I decide on what my design is going to be. Um, I start with either a ribbon or a sign, and then from that I build my whole design. So this is a new one that came in. It says, Welcome. It's got ladybugs on it. Um, this one is Be Blessed. These are some of the upcoming classes that we're going to be doing. So I thought I'd give you guys a little peek at what's to come. This one says Farm Fresh Local Sourced Honey. So this will go good with the bee ribbon we got in. We have this in round, but I have it in long now. That one says welcome. Is it showing up backwards on your end? Horses leave hoof prints on your heart. Hearts. Heart. I thought that was a cute one because I know there's a lot of horse people in our area. Friends are like seashells. We collect them along the way. Because I've got a bunch of beach uh, themes coming up. Home is where the dog is. And this one I thought was really cool. Because I know a lot of people go to the lake. Look at this one. This is lake living. Isn't that cool? And this one's going to be loved by a lot of people. Woohoo! I got a Yerky sign. <laughs> it says Yorkshire Terrier Trail. <laughs> I know, the lake sign's really cute, isn't it, Allison? And this I have in round, because you saw me do a, you saw me, you, sh you saw the wreath that says this, Beware of the Wiggle Butts. Now, when Sue's two dogs came in this afternoon, their butts were really wiggling because they love it here, and I love having them. And then I don't know if you can see this, but this says welcome, and then it's got pineapples. Pineapples are a really hot design theme this year. And I did a wreath with this for my girlfriend, and somebody else asked for it, so... Sandy Toes and Salty Kisses. And this one, Flip Flop Zone. Hey, Sherry. Wait, Sherry, you missed it. Let me get it. You missed the one sign I showed. Woohoo! We got it for a Yorkie. Then we have Flip Flop Zone. And gnomes are pretty popular. He hasn't come out with a lot of signs yet, but this one he just came out with, um, Gnome is where the heart is. I thought that was kind of cute. And this is my favorite, Fling Flamingo Road. That's real popular right now. Now, since I showed you some of the signs, look at this. These little, little flamingos. Wouldn't they look cute on a wreath with the sign? And not only that, we had Bo Sunday on Sunday, and I learned a new bow. It's called the Lisa bow. And what it ends up having is three loops and two tails. So look at that. Can you see the flamingos in there? And the different colors? And this right here is new. This is called Jelly Ribbon. You can see through it. Can you see through it? I got it in pink and I got it in blue. But look at that with this. I mean, 
all you need is something small to trigger a whole idea. So, I want to show you some of the things I got um, to go with the wreath uh, classes coming up. And I didn't, I have ladybugs and bumblebees coming in, but I do have these ladybugs. So I got those. I got a whole pack of these flowers. They're wooden. And then I found this little guy. He's got to go on one of the with one of those bumblebee signs. He's a little teddy bear dressed up as a bumblebee. Isn't he cute? And then for the beach theme, I finally found them. Starfish. Oops. This one's got the anchor stuck in the back of it. When I was making my girlfriend that wreath for her birthday, I could not find the starfish. And then I found this really awesome seahorse. So let's take you back to the sign. And I got seashells. Woohoo! So, see? I was trying to pull the little starfish out of the sign when I made hers, and I couldn't find them. So I ended up just taking a net and putting a few seashells on it and putting a smaller seahorse on it. But see, this would look cute in the middle, this to the side, and then some starfish and seashells around it. And then I did find some anchors. Say hello if you're on. So that's gonna be a theme. We could even, with the Yorkie one, the Yorkie sign, we can even personalize these bones and put them around the wreath along with the sign. Cause see, I have that new um, scanning cut Okay, so we could put we could paint these and put their names on it. Who else is on? My rubber band is holding it. <laughs> oh, hi Jean. Are you um Marty's sister? I was just showing some of the signs we have. Woohoo! Looking forward to meeting you. It's gonna be fun. Um let me just grab a wreath here. I had a plain wreath from Valentine's Day, but look, okay? It was one I made before and I took it apart. Cool, that's great. All right, so, okay, let's go back to the first sign, all right? Now again, I find a sign and then I pick from the sign what's gonna go on the wreath. See, I just added a little piece of black up here because there's black in the sign, all right? Then you've got your ladybugs. You can put your ladybugs around on the sign, okay? And then, check this out. We got all kinds of new ribbon. So, because this sign has dots on it, okay, we could... We could use these polka dots. I have big polka dots. I have little polka dots. You could even use a plaid. Again, I'm trying to pull the colors out of the sign for my design. And then this one has little black polka dots on it. So we could make a, a ribbon, or, you know, a bow, using a lot of these colors because we're pulling black, we're pulling red, we're pulling white out of the sign. So, out of any of the signs you saw tonight, why don't we just go ahead and make a, a bow? Is there one sign that you saw in the ones I showed that you want to see me make a bow for. Okay, we had the bee, we had the ladybug, 
We had Beware of Big Wiggle Butts in the long, long version. I don't have any ribbon with Yorkie on it, so this one I'm going to have to think about. I think I do have I do have one with bones. Would that look good? Then we had Flamingo Road, which on Bow Sunday, when I learned the Lisa Bow, I figured I'd make this to kind of show you. Now it has black in there, but I could have added this ribbon that had more black. And it has the pink and it has the green. So that would have went well with it too. Um, we have flip-flop zone. Gnome is where the heart is. We have the lake living. This I'm gonna have to work on because this one, I gotta come up with something really good for that one. Home is where the dog is. Seashell one. Horses leave hoof prints on your heart. And we had the honeybee one. We had the welcome one, and this has butterflies on it, and I did get butterflies. And then we have the pineapple one. Now I do have I do have pineapple ribbon now. I even have some um, nautical ribbon, but here's the pineapple ribbon. Do you want me to just make this um, Lisa bow doing the ladybug? So you can see how to make a, Le a Lisa bow. I even have flip-flop ribbon. And I got all kinds of... Um, new flower ribbon. Look, we even have, we have the polka dots in this color and even smaller. Do the ladybug? Okay, Jean. All right. Now, I'm going to aim this down. What we need to do is pick two. One, yeah, let me check. We need to pick two of the wide, which is two and a half, and then we need to pick three of the narrower ribbon, the one and a half. Now we could use this as one of the one and a half because it's got the ladybugs on it. Um, we could use this because that has the colors. We could use, or we could use this and this, and this. What about the flower ribbon? You want, you want the flower ribbon in with the ladybug. Is that what you're saying? We can do that because you still have your white and your red in here. And then when we did the wreath, we could throw in some daisies. You want that one? Okay, so here's our two wide ribbons then, okay, and then the narrow, what do you think, these five, is that what you want in it? I know, right? I went a little overboard on ribbon again. I need more shelves now. <laughs> <laughs> That'll go over real good. I even have um, this. I even have this. So when we do that ribbon, when we do that wreath, there's a lot to choose from. All right, so we're going to go with those. Sounds like a plan. Now. I'm going to use my Bodabra, the one I sat on that's all taped up. <laughs> so, hi, Tina. How are you? All right. What I did, Tina, I showed some signs, and then I had everybody 
tell me what sign they wanted me to make a bow for. I'm going to do the Lisa bow. I know, right? Too many choices, Marty. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, let's move these out of the way. She has the room to work. All right. And then I'm going to aim you down so you can see. Hi, Bev. Welcome. Everybody say hi to Bev. She's an awesome designer, and she's in my group. And I love her. You should see this the one she just did. The, what was on that time, Bev? Be the change, right? That was an awesome wreath. All right. And Bev, this was a Lisa bow, right? That we did on on Sunday on the bow bow Sunday. It wasn't a Linda bow, right? It was a Lisa bow. All right. Bev, I showed everybody a bunch of the new signs that came in. Most of the people on on my live right now are people that, um, friends that come to my classes. So I was showing them what some of the upcoming classes would be. All right, let me make sure I got this right. And I should probably pull this out. So I have something easy to roll with here. All right. So... Let's see, who's coming to class this week? We've got Thelma and someone else coming for the, the cross wreath class on Thursday night. Then we have Thelma, Jean, Sherry, and Marty coming for the bunny and the bunny wreath or the bunny, um, what's it called? The bunny, the bunny or the other. I know, right? Isn't the ladybug sign cute? I have the big ladybug. Um, you know what, Marty? We also have this one too, Marty. So, if, here, look. I mean, that that's perfect with daisies. Right? Bev, Shuri is one of my puppy parents. I have a few of my puppy parents on here. I breed Yorkies. So they're just loving the Yorkie. Um, which one was it? They're loving the one sign I got. Um, where is it? Where is it? It's just right here. Maybe it's under the flamingo sign. We're going to do this one, and they're going to paint bones, and then we're going to take my cut and scan, and we're going to put the names on it. Alright. So you know how when we do the probo, we always start at the, the top and work our way to the bottom? Well, with this bow, we're going to do it different. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up to the top. All right. So, I can't pile everything on here at one time. It just doesn't work. So, I'm going to leave about, and I flipped my darn thing here. I'm going to leave about a 10 inch tail, but this being the first ribbon, each time I'm going to decrease the size of the bow, of the loop. So for this one, I'm going to do about six. 
Now for the Lisa bow, you're actually making three loops and we want them all to be the same size. If anybody has trouble seeing, just let me know, all right? And forgive me if I hesitate because I just learned this bow. <laughs> so I don't want to screw up. Okay. Now see, I can check my bows like that to make sure they're the same size. And then, I think I'm doing it wrong. But, I think I know how to fix it. Okay. Nope. That's not going to work. Okay. That'll work. All right. So I've got two loops on one side, and I've got one loop on the other side, and then I have the two tails. So I'm going to put them down in the holder. I'm going to take this first start piece off, and then I'm going to dovetail them. Okay, all right, that's my first one. Now my second one is the one Marty picked out with the flowers, which we could use for either or any of the ladybug signs for your ladybug wreath. So, I left about a 10 inch tail, so I want to pinch it, and then for this one, since we did that one at 6, I'm going to do my loops on here at 5 and a half. Are you following? There's going to be a test on this on Saturday. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Alright, that's 5 and a half. Then we get another tail here. No, I want my loop next. And do my tail last. All right. Come on now. All right, so those same size, and that's the same size. And then I'll do my. Now, since I have one um, loop over here with two tails. I'm gonna do this the opposite now. I'm gonna put two tails on the other side and the two loops on this side. See, I'm just layering now, all right? I'll dovetail. Can you all see okay? And if you don't mind liking and sharing my page, I would so appreciate it, because when I get to 500 on my page, we're going to do a giveaway. And also, at the top of the link, I also put in, um, <laughs> I'm also going to do, a, when I get to 100 on my YouTube page, we're going to do another giveaway, too. Bev, I get this from Sims. And some of it I got from Craft Outlet. I priced between the two and see which one was um, better. Um, this was Craft Outlet, I know. I think the other one was Craft, I don't, this might've been Craft Outlet too. Sometimes because with the free shipping, it's just, it's better, you know, to, for me to buy it that way. Plus I do classes, so we, you know, I use a lot of ribbon. All right. So then we got to go to the next one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the smaller dots this time, the Swiss dots. Okay. Woo, we got 19 on. Say hello. Like and share. We'd really appreciate it. All right. So our last one. I know, right, Bev? I love this line, too. My last one was five and a half, so this one will do the loop at five. Okay. Great. And 
another loop, and then go to the tail. Do you guys think you want to try this on Saturday? One of these bows, Lisa bow? I know you're going to Sims on Thursday, and I wish you were going tomorrow because I need some little bunnies, and they won't ship me just the little bunnies. All right. So this side had the double loops, and this side had the tails. So we're going to flip it and put the tails on this side. And then we're going to dovetail our tails. All right. All right. So we did six five and a half five so let's do this one at four and a half with a 10 inch tail pinching it in the middle making my next loop checking it with this one okay another loop Ooh, I'm getting better. I was all thumbs on Saturday watching this made. All right, so we have our tails on this side, so we're gonna put our tails on that side. This is gonna be one awesome looking bow. Y'all liking and sharing for me? And then go to my YouTube. That doesn't look the same size as that. That's in my pinch. It went a little, there we go. Now it's better. All right, last one. Now we're gonna use the ladybug one. All right, 10 inch tail, and we're gonna do this one at four. Pinch, measure. Pinch, measure. Come on. Bev, I sell those signs on my Etsy store, too. All right, tails were on this side, so we're putting them on this side now. Nope, wrong way. Tails go on this side. There we go. Now, what I also learned is to use a zip tie too. I can cinch it a little and then move it out, move it a little, and then when I'm absolutely totally ready, then really cinch it tight. But you know what? I'm gonna get a zip tie or a pipe cleaner. Because Once I totally zip tie it, I want to be able to still tie it to the wreath. I'm not going to use the ribbon. I'm going to use this. Okay. Come on. Get my fluff box that my hubby made me for Christmas. Let's get rid of some of this trash. Doesn't it look like a mess? <laughs> All right. Nope, I got it upside down. 
I want the wider ribbon on the bottom, so I'm going to scoot this around. Scoot my pipe cleaner. There we go. Now we got it where I want it. Can you guys see? Okay. All right. Now, the way I was taught was this one loop was the head. This was the arms. And the other two tails were the legs. All right? See, I'm working like we do with the Probo from the bottom up. Okay, so this side we will have a head, two arms, and two legs. So I didn't totally cinch this yet because I want to be able to manipulate these and move them around. Okay, all right, now which was the next color? This one. All right, so we have a head here. So we want this to be an arm over here. We want a head over here, an arm here, and a leg here. Okay. Are you following me, Marty? <laughs> All right. Then we had, this one was the next one. So let's get this over here. And then let's get this over here. There we go. Now we got just the top layer to do. And then I'll cinch it tight. All right, so we got a, a leg a leg, let's see, let's go over that way, oh, I hear somebody upstairs who's not happy, I have five borders right now, Bev, it is crazy up in that room, I, I breed Yorkies, I board Yorkies, I groom Yorkies. Okay, now I'm gonna cinch it tight. <laughs> Marty's getting the quiz. <laughs> Marty's gonna be here on Saturday when you're here, Sherry. Got it as tight as it's gonna go. All right. Now it's not really fluffed out, but I'll be able to fluff it out more. And again, this is just our dummy wreath, so you guys can see, um, you know, and I would cut this. But see those colors? Now, what we could do is we could put black on here, or we could do white. We could even do the yellow. We could pull the yellow out of the ribbon and then go with the sign. And we wanna really go left, right. So, and we wouldn't necessarily need to fill in a whole lot. We could even put another bow up here. Or we could use our ladybugs and put our ladybugs around and put some daisies on here. And out of all my flowers, I think daisies is the only one I don't have. Huh. Figures. Uh, I might have some yellow ones here. I have some yellow ones, but I don't think the yellow ones are gonna do it justice. I think it needs the white with the yellow. So basically, that's how I start a design. 
if I see a ribbon I like, then I, I grab the ribbon and then I go ahead and um, find a sign or other little things to go with it. Now see, these don't look so good on the red, but I think against another color, like even if, excuse me, even if we went with yellow or white, we could get away with that. So what do you guys think of that bow? I gotta run up my comments here. My rubber band that's holding my phone so it doesn't pop down on us again. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. It's amazing what, what a ribbon will do just by using different um, colors out of the ribbon. Now I'll show you, since this is Jean's first time coming to class, okay, I'll show you a few things. This is the one class we're doing on Thursday night. We're making a cross, okay? I didn't go real, real crazy with the ribbon, but we can. Um, Thelma and someone else is coming on Thursday night to do that. Sherry's coming on Saturday to do this, along with Thelma's granddaughter. Now for this, I have turquoise, purple, white, and pink left. I don't have the multicolored. And we got more um, pom-poms in for the nose smaller tails if anybody wants a smaller tail thank you lynn we'll see if it works i think i flunked that class on setting that up <laughs> and then jean i think marty said you wanted to do the farmhouse wreath is that what you were interested in doing because what you need to decide before Saturday is what color sign you want. Do you want a turquoise sign? I have three sayings, and I'll send them off to you. Um, we have a bunch of the turquoise ribbon that we can do. Um, I have... I have this in the turquoise and white with the, the cotton on it. So before Saturday, if you can let me know whether you want to go turquoise or the cream and brown, that way I can have your sign already made up and I'll shoot you off the three sayings. One is farm fresh, the other is bless this home, and I forget what the other one is. Hi, Sandra. Welcome. So, think about that one. The grapevine wreath, um, this is actually an oval shape. I have the oval or I have the round. So, you get your choice. And then we put our greenery in here along with our um, cotton. And then I teach you how to make a bow. Okay, and then like I said, we'll, after, um, after the Easter stuff is done, then we're going to start with the summer, and we'll have flamingo, we'll have beach, um, what else did I say, we'll have the Yorkie one to do. Um, what other signs were there? The, oh, the bee one, the pineapple one. I could show the signs again if anybody wanted to see them. It caught, caught up with us late. Bev, have you ever used the, the jelly ribbon? Oh, you don't want a sign? Okay, Jean. That's fine. That was Marty. She didn't want to sign either. 
We have this in two sizes. Beware of the wiggle butts. Sandy toes and salty kisses. Um, we have the bee. The honey bee one. The welcome sign. Oh, this is one I didn't show. We're doing a watermelon one too. And then we have more of the sea. Home is where the dog is. Everybody's favorite, the Yorkie. Um, the pineapple one. The ladybug. Oh, this one is Be Blessed. And then the flamingo one. So there's a lot of choices for the classes coming up on what you want to do. Oh, and then the, the wiggle butts came in, the, came in the oblong rectangle. And then the gnome one. Home is where the, gnome is where the home is. Gnome is where the heart is. I'll get it right. And then the flip-flop one. These will all be on my Etsy shop and in the upcoming classes that we're doing. And I put a link to my YouTube, I put a link to my YouTube page and a link to my Etsy shop. So if you all could go on and subscribe to my YouTube channel because when we hit 100 on there, no, 500 on there, we're going to do a giveaway and we when we hit 100 likes on my Facebook page, we're going to do a giveaway. I've yet to learn that class on how to set that up. Um, again, we got a lot of bee ribbon. We've got, I love this one. Not pretty. Look, Bev, it's 50 yard. <laughs> oh, and this one. I used this one on, on the bee one I made when we had the little wiggly bees. There's that. Um, I even got in some sunflower ribbon. And I got this, cause I love it. I'm hoping to find a napkin with this on it so we can decoupage the sign to match it. But check this out. Wouldn't that look awesome with that? Has the same colors. Then we got the pineapple and the nautical. We got the flamingos, we got daisies, we got checks, we got stuff for 4th of July and Memorial Day. Um, this is one I fell in love with. I love the color peach. So I got some peach deco mesh and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but I'm going to figure out something. So. But I think that's pretty much it. There's our sign again. There's our ribbon. Do you think, Marty, this is one you want to try for your wreath on Saturday? I know, right? I love that, that peach. It's just awesome. And I don't have enough bunnies for the bunny wreath on Saturday, but... I came up with an idea today, so I think I'm going to make you some bunnies for your bunny wreath. Because I have that one up for sale, and it's one of a kind, so I don't want to totally copy it. Does anybody have any questions? It was just pretty much a short one to get on tonight and show you what's going to be available and at least make a, a Lisa bow for you. 
The grapevine wreath, I think, well, I do have a smaller one. So I have one that is 12 inches. The other ones, I think, are 18. 18 or 15. Now we're stick together. 18. Or the oval, which is narrower, but it's longer. Maybe. Okay. Jill can't make it on Saturday. I know you're going to be disappointed. She was disappointed too. But. Anything else? Y'all typed in live, didn't you? And if you came, if you got a question, then, you know, answer the question. But I think that's pretty much it. It was just a short one to show you what, what's coming up. And I don't think it turned out too bad for being only the second time I made one. So. And I even have some like black tubing and the black tubing would look cute even jet, jetting out from that or, you know. Wouldn't it? Oh really? Yeah, it was it was a short one tonight, Bev, because they basically wanted to see what's coming up. Thank you. Thank you. I said not bad for the second time making one. <laughs> At least it looks like a bow. <laughs> so I guess I accomplished something today. Thank you. Yes. It's called a Lisa bow, right? Not a Linda bow. Because I posted it this morning on our class site, and I, I put Linda bow, and then afterwards I thought, I bet you it was a Lisa bow. So. Okay, look forward to meeting you on Saturday, Jean. And we'll see everybody else on Saturday that's coming. Okay? Unless anybody else has any questions. Think about your your colors for Saturday. <laughs> I don't know if you saw <laughs> this Bodabra has tape all over it. I sat on it. It was my girlfriend's. <laughs> and a couple years ago, we did a, a like a craft show at my house. And we, we made so many bows and so many items up for sale. And my whole downstairs here, where my classroom is, was all set up with everything that we made for the holiday, the upcoming holiday. And she put this on a chair, and I didn't know it. And I, no, I put it on the chair. She wasn't here then. And I sat on it and broke it. So I quick took a coupon and ran out to AC Moore and got her a new one because I felt horrible. Well, then I wanted to use one, so I ended up putting it back together and taping it all up, and it still works. So. <laughs> yeah, yours will turn out to be a Marty bow for sure, and it'll look awesome. Like everything you always make when you're here. So, all right, I'm going to say good night because, like I said, I've got five borders and six of my own that I have to take care of. So, um, I knew it was going to be a short night because <laughs> there's a lot of barking going on up there. So, somebody's not happy. All right, thank you all for coming, and don't forget to like my uh, YouTube channel. The, um, the, the link is at the top of the comments and my Etsy page. And if you have any questions or want to order a sign, 
just let me know. All right? All right, have a good night, and thank you.